Let's face it, trying to keep on top of all of those changes in Microsoft Copilot can feel like a big task. Just when you feel you've mastered it, you head back into Copilot and find another button or a new feature that you've never seen before. And that's why today we're going to be checking out new capabilities released in Copilot that you can take advantage of today. So if you want to improve an email that's going to one of your clients and make it the best possible, schedule a meeting in Outlook just in a few seconds and even create an agenda or get an export of your meeting notes from your Teams meeting in a Microsoft Word document, I'm going to show you new capabilities that deliver that and even more inside of Copilot. So let's dive into Copilot and see what's new. So let's kick off in Microsoft Outlook because there's a lot of Copilot changes that have happened inside of Outlook. The first is all around scheduling meetings. As you know from the past, we can easily schedule meetings in a new Outlook by heading over to our calendar and then going to a time and date. But wouldn't it be easier if Copilot could do it for us and even check other people's availability internally? Well, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Inside of Outlook, we're going to go ahead and open our Copilot sidebar by selecting the Copilot icon in the right hand side of New Outlook. And then all we need to do here is give Copilot a prompt to begin to create me a meeting and also define the participants and also let Copilot know it needs to find the right time available. Let's go and add in that prompt. With our prompt now added into Copilot, we can see in the sidebar that it's now found an available time that I can have this meeting with Matthew. I could either go ahead and click on send and send it straight into the diary or I could alternatively open it or even view it by selecting this button here. Because let's also consider that our meeting needs an agenda and can Copilot help with that? Well, absolutely it can. If we go ahead and select the edit button, we'll see the meeting invite that effectively Copilot has built for us, but there's no meeting agenda. So inside of our meeting invite, we can now select draft with Copilot. And as you'll see, it has a number of suggested prompts. But this is all around Project Greenspace Financials. So let's ask Copilot to generate an agenda around that key topic. With our prompt now added, summarizing, we're going to be checking out the financials for our Project Greenspace. I can go ahead and have now Copilot generate that for us. Now I'm quite happy with that. So let's select keep it. And we can see here we now have an agenda with a few points. But I could also make it more detailed to expand on that agenda. Let's go ahead and send this off and we can catch up with Matthew inside of that meeting. And as you know from past videos on our channel, Copilot can also help with coaching our emails. In other words, improving our emails that we're going to send out to colleagues and also customers. Now here's an email I'm drafting back to Alex on one of our projects. And what I'm now going to do is have Copilot also coach us, but apply all the suggestions to improve the email in a single click. Let's now go ahead to Copilot and select Coaching by Copilot that analyzes our email and then will provide some suggestions to improve it further. We can see in seconds that I could also make it more formal and show some more appreciation. In the past, we could review these and manually make the changes in our email, but now we have a button to apply all suggestions on the right-hand side and Copilot rewrites the email with these suggestions. We can see the preview window here and again, select replace to replace my email. I can of course overtype the project name, but we can see now the whole email is changed and has been improved. So I was originally gonna send over to Alex just a few moments ago. If you've also taken a transcript on your team's meetings using Copilot, it can be a bit tricky to go and find the meeting recap and notes. But also inside of Outlook, there's been a change to help us get back to those quickly. All we now need to do is open up the meeting invitation and we see a section dedicated to meeting summary. This is Copilot's summary of the meeting taken from the transcript. It's very helpful if I wasn't able to join the meeting, I can easily understand what was discussed. But in addition, we can also see that two people spoke in the meeting on their names, where I was also mentioned and understanding where in the transcript that is and also the points. And also if there are any follow-up tasks during that meeting. So now you can really easily get back to a summary of the meeting recap. But need to know more detail? Simply select View Recap and you'll be taken straight into the Microsoft Teams recap itself. We can now see all of the meeting notes, tasks and more. So a simple way to get back to your meeting notes inside of Outlook. 
Before we check out the next new feature, I've got a quick question for you. Have you downloaded our latest 365 Copilot ebook? Because if not, you're missing out on our top five Copilot prompts that you can download for free via the link in the video description below, showing you great new ways to work with Copilot and make the most from your investment. So alongside our great ebook, let's carry on into Copilot and see what else is new that you can use today. And if you use Copilot Chat, you'll be pretty familiar with the ability to prompt. You'll be able to write your own prompts in Copilot Chat and then effectively get your responses. But it's been difficult to keep hold of those prompts. You may have built the most amazing prompt you've ever seen before, but then you're gonna to have to copy and paste it into a document or another area to also use it again in the future. But now inside of Copilot, you can save your own prompts to get back to quickly. In fact, here's a prompt I've taken to summarize my upcoming day and help me with an upcoming meeting. If I wanna keep this prompt and use it once again, what I now need to do is hover over the prompt itself and click on the Save Prompt button. In doing so, I could now readjust the title to something more customized and I can see the prompt that will be saved. If I go ahead and click on Save, it'll now be visible to me in the Copilot Prompt Gallery. To get to it, all I need to do is now select View Prompts and under the new section for your prompts, you'll now see your prompt is stored here. By left clicking it, you'll see it automatically gets added into the prompt box so you can reuse it again inside of Copilot. If you want to share it with others inside of your prompts as well, you'll also see the ability to use a copy link capability. If I copy this link here and now share it with my colleagues, they can also use that prompt. And we can see that exactly here. I've now signed into Alex's account and also followed that link. And we can see that that prompt is now automatically appeared in Copilot chat and Alex can now use it to summarize his own day. So as simple as that, you can save and reuse your prompts in Copilot chat. And there's a new change to Copilot in Microsoft Word. When you open a brand new Word document, you no longer will see a Copilot option appear straight in the blank document. Instead, you have a new header. You can see here that there's now multiple options to choose from. Draft a document based upon a file, produce a summary of file, or draft a business memo. You also do have the ability to write in your own custom prompts to create documents. But these buttons now allow you to quickly build a document around a given idea. I'll simply use this draft the business memo and add in some additional content. And we can see here that this document's now been generated. And how about something even more cooler inside of Word? Inside of Word for web, because this is not yet available on desktop Word, you can also use your meeting notes summaries to create content. Yes, proposals and more can be created from all of your meeting notes. As an example here, what I'm going to do is add a prompt in so I want Copilot draft a summary of our meeting that we had using the meeting notes taken from our Project Greenspace stand-up in Microsoft Teams. With our prompt added in and simply hitting on the forward slash key, I can now select a new section for meetings and choose a stand-up meeting for Project Greenspace. By selecting generate, we'll now see inside of Microsoft Word that the meeting notes are now summarized in real time. And I could also send that onto my colleagues as a summary or add it into my, my document areas to confirm what happened in the meeting and the outputs as well. So as simple as that, taking your meeting summary and also transitioning it into a document can be done in just seconds. And finally, inside of Microsoft Teams, you'll notice there's a different Copilot chat experience. Yes, at the top of your Copilot, you'll see the ability to work with your work files under the Work tab, Alternatively, selecting web for the web version of Copilot that doesn't have access to your business data. And using the web version of Copilot today, we can now generate charts without the help of Microsoft Excel or any other charting tools. So let's go ahead and give Copilot this prompt to create me a bar chart with some numbers from mobile devices. We can now see that Copilot's generated us a simple bar chart to simply copy and paste into any of our reports or PowerPoint presentations. So now Copilot Chat can now generate charts for your reports and more in just a few sentences. And there you have it. Some of the coolest new features in Microsoft 365 Copilot wrapped up in one single video. You'll now be able to improve your productivity and maybe even impress your team. And if you want to take advantage of more tutorials like this, then why not hit the subscribe button? 
That single button click will help you transform the way that you work and also help our channel continue to grow. If you're already subscribed, then hit that like button to also let me know this video has helped you too. And don't forget, they love to hear from you. Head down to the comments and let me know which Copilot feature will help you the most and maybe even inspire one of our future videos because I do really read every one of those comments. So other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.